Well, if you've just joined us, this is Change Your Game here on Channel Africa. My name is Asanda Bed. Uh, of course, find us on Twitter at Change Your Game 2 is our handle there. That's the same for Instagram. Now, Tlubimboya Arnold is an award-winning film and television actress, social justice and civil rights activist, sponsored athlete and social entrepreneur. Known for her roles in South Africa's SABC 3's Soapy Isitingo, oh. SABC 1's drama series Mfolozi Street, oh. and as a celebrity contestant, for SABC2 Strictly Come Dancing. She's also an accomplished businesswoman and heads up the non-profit Future CEOs. She is also director at Sunshine Cinema, mm-hmm. which is a solar mobile cinema that converts solar energy into social impact. And I think that's what we'll be focusing more on today, but we'll talk about everything. So to hear more about her work, she now joins us in studio. Welcome to Change Your Game, Chloe. I am so excited to be here. And I think the, the name of your show, Change, your game is so apt it is, for it? the black woman we are today because we have to create reset those barriers and you are a game changer yourself i i mean just reading your intro everyone listening can just tell that this is a game changer you know what sissy i want to be a forward thinker i want to be ahead of the game mm. i really do I, I i i want people to learn from my mistakes and not make the same mistakes, especially young girls, obviously, mm. to learn from my mistakes and not make my mistakes. And that comes with age. Mm. That comes with being in the game for a long time and saying, hey, I've shed many tears in this business. I don't have to to um, allow young people to go through that. And mm. I'm, I'm not trying to say let's fast track people's careers because I sometimes think that longevity and those humps and those setbacks and those mis- mistakes really earn you quality mm. in what you do. And we couldn't tell from your face and <laughs> your body of, about how long you've been in the industry. You look like a youth yourself. My mail and Dingena up, I went in here <laughs> and I greeted some lady. She's like, your waist is like this. It and is. Like, you know, I, I, I do take care of myself. Mm. Let's not forget and I, I, and I always say, I've got good genes. Mm. I won't lie. I am blessed with that, but I do take care of myself. But I've also come to a point where I do want to start a family. Mm. And that uh, the six-pack or the muscles are not so much of a priority anymore in my life. Yeah. It was at one stage, but I want to be softer looking. I want to look like I want to uh, like be a mother. And I think that um, God's timing is, has put my heart there. Perfectly said, eh? And you look amazing. So Thank give us you, the background in terms of sun- Sunshine Cinema. Let's start there. What is it and uh, how did it come about? I joined Sunshine Cinema. It's an NGO started by a husband and wife and they're very good friends of mine. And we're all in the film industry. We're all creatives. Mm. Um, the husband and wife are filmmakers. Me, I'm an actress. Um, we've always been very conscious about specifically HIV and AIDS. Mm. You know, me playing the role of Nandipa for so long and mm. that's been my life's work. HIV, AIDS and eradication of stigma and telling those stories and changing those narratives was very important for me. And Sunshine Cinema, I think when it comes to society, the time that we live in now, you can't eliminate um, environmental justice. Mm. So what better way to use solar energy to convert it into solar impact? So what is Sunshine Cinema is with social entrepreneurs. Mm. It's a grassroots movement. So we take carefully curated context, you see, and we um, make films made by South Af- not, not South Africans, Africans, mm. for Africans, especially those in the rural areas, especially for the those disadvantaged who don't get that cinematic experience. Mm. But it's more than just showing movies. It's about changing narratives. It's about uh, spreading a little sunshine. That's our tag. It's about sparking conversation because after these movies, we really talk with the community leaders about the issues that the community has pertaining to this film. Mm. So it's very selective um, films that we take, things like Kalushi, the Winnie Mandela documentary, Ingeba, I Am Not Your Witch. So it's basically uh, the land reform documentary, Mm. really great um, uh, uh, um, education learning and impactful uh, uh, curated art and yeah who cur- curates them the films oh, what, what do you mean by that who chooses you know what well we choose because y- you know what because I'm in the industry so I know um, what is great uh-huh. what is quality um, what sparks conversation and the access that people need yeah. and what I, and you know what I, by the time that these um, audiences have seen these movies it's not even out on the big screen yet that's how um connected we want to be with mm. with the relevance of the topics that are about um that are uh are community-based that are south african-based and that are african-based mm. so we really want to be connected as i said to you we want to be forward thinking but mm. at the end of the day we want to 
change narratives. We want to solve problems. We want to create dialogue. Um, and we want to put people on an equal footing mm. that have never had the the privilege of being heard. Mm. And that's what we want to do with Sunshine Cinema. Do you see yourself as a game changer in that, in bringing the creative side of it and merging that with a meaningful message, but also making sure that there is a bit of entertainment, even in the educational part? I think there always has to be. Yeah. For me, sis, I'll always be a creative. And, and, and I think being successful in this world means that you've got to learn new skills, skills and mm. do new things and try new things. But... Connect them in creative ways mm. and, and work with people. I'm a, I, I love collaborations. I love teamwork. I love different energy. I, I, I love learning from people. I hate to be the smartest person in the room. That's why I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so it, it's very important to me to have constant engagement with what's happening on the ground. So you, you connect with a lot of community leaders. What's the I response like? Is it always favorable? Do, uh, do you find resistance in some of the areas that you target? As I said, people just want to be heard. Mm -hmm. People want their opinions to be put across. People want to have an opinion. Um, I think what's nice is that we're putting people on a platform that necessarily haven't been on a platform. What also is really great about Sunshine Cinema is that we've got an entrepreneurial leg to it, and it's called the Sunbox Ambassadors, Mm -hmm. which means we take people of the community who really have a passion to want to take it a step further. Mm. And that is basically putting the solo mobile cinema into a little box, which is durable, mm-hmm. which can travel with you. And they just have a, a, an elevated sense in society as a leader. You know um, what this sun box is, is basically the projector. Mm. It's the screen, it's speakers and instruction kit. And by using emo, e, e, e phone, on your laptop you can create a media hub oh. so we try to provide stipends for those sandboxes you know oh. but um it's hard but those uh young people and it's always young people and i love that i love young people oh. who are sandbox ambassadors they feel a sense of dignity and respect um a, 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 a title of being a leader because they bring access to the community and to their friends or films mm. and they're the ones that instruct the conversations so it really is good for self-esteem and confidence which is lacking in our township areas so mm. much you know f- uh, trying to fulfill that they are needed and are doing something positive in their society and that's really really important to us absolutely the the Lubin Boya Arnold Sunshine Cinema Scholarship tell yes. us about that because you have that as well so, Sissy, um, it's about um, Sunshine Cinema is a global creative institution mm. and they offer sound, they offer audio and they offer film production. Mm. They are um, 24, 50 campuses in 24 countries. Mm. Um, what I love about it, it really does give uh, the artists a really formal education but a global education. Mm. And within the... Uh, uh, um, education system there is a certificate for higher learning there's a bachelor's degree and there's short courses okay so when it comes to the film production i think it, it, it's only fitting that it, it, it's sunshine cinema because that's a movement in itself mm. and it's a great collaboration um between uh, uh um sae institution which is the which is the creative medium school and sunshine cinema mm-hmm. when it comes to the Subimboy sunshine cinema scholarship It really is allowing kids from disadvantaged areas who've got financial problems, and most of them do, Mm. who have a passion, who are hardworking, who have got great vision, who have a taste for what it takes to make it in this cutthroat industry because it's not for the weak hearted. Mm. So what we try to do in the film production curriculum or course, especially the scholarship is the higher uh, higher certificate, so it's for a year. We really want them to be um, artistically, creatively independent. Mm. We really want them to be entrepreneurial in the film industry. We really want them to be picked up anywhere in the world. And we really want them to be able to know every single part of what it takes to be a f- uh, in film. So it's not just about acting. It's about being in front of the camera. It's being the cameraman or camera mm. woman. It's being in the editing suite. It's being the boom driver. It's holding the camera. So it's, it, it, it really is a 
a full circle complex of what it means to be a film producer, to be a director, or be a, a, be a leader in the creative space, yeah. especially when it comes to film. And that's what the Sunshine Cinema, Khibimboya, um Scholarship is all about.